called Real Life. I grew up with real criminals. You know that no, sign that so, they have in the movie theaters where it says, do do not leave any of your belongings and whoopty whoopty woo and yada 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 because yes. we'll not be responsible? My friends, well, I won't say nationally, but definitely in the Northeastern Corridor, he was the reason for that. Mm. Um, Because he would go into the movie theater at the top of the day, he would buy tickets for the whole day, and then he would just send minors in there to go in there in the dark, you know, especially the neighborhoods that had, you know, the rich neighborhoods with the rich movie theaters. Right. They go through there, they steal fur coats. They get Wait, wallets, pocketbooks. Um, off of people or you mean? Yeah, uh, while they was watching the movie. Watching movie the especially car, yeah. 3D movies because ain't nobody paying attention. You go in a 3D movie, clean up, get all the credit cards, and then you take the credit cards and see, we lived in Philly and Atlanta City was only 45 minutes away. You get all the credit cards and then you go and you get down there with the hooker bitches. And then you send the hooker bitches in between tricks into the casino to run the credit cards to the, to they max them out. Mm. Because in a casino, ain't no, they don't say no. It don't matter who put the card in, the money coming out. Exactly, exactly. Stolen or not, the money coming out. Whether you remember the code or not, the, the money, money coming, coming out. out. The money coming out. Nah, for real. So, you know, you just run it as credit and they give you the cash. You ain't got to do the debit because the debit you put in the code. But with the credit, it just hits the card. You just run, run it. Nice so then, yo, he used to, yo, he used to bank like 25, 30 G's a day. And that was at the paying everybody. And then we would take the money and then we would get a suite and then we would gamble for two or three days. Oh, yeah, yeah. Easy come, easy go. No, we I mean, made money. Yeah, it, oh, I, yeah. I count cards. The, the, up. Run it up. He would give me five grand and tell me to keep it. I would turn that shit to like 25, 30 fucking G's. That's the hustle. And then I leave. You know what I'm saying? And, and see, but that was the kind of nigga he was. That was the kind of nigga my nigga was. You know? He was a real criminal. Like, I like real criminals. Yeah. Like, he's the only nigga that I know that go to Fed jail. And he got furloughed the whole time because he was fucking his judge. So he had to, you know, he would check out of jail in the morning. And then he would go clock in at his job and then he would leave and then he would go hustle the sex phone lines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're not the sex phone lines. Yeah. yeah, and then he had a little fake veterinary where he was selling, you know, all the veterinary drugs. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was selling his drug addicts. Oh, yeah, that's all he had. He, so, that is a career criminal. Yeah. A career. But, but the thing is, he wasn't that way. The system made him that way. Well, after first felony, he's like, fuck, I got yeah, it. No, yeah, his first, his first crime, and then he went to jail, and he learned how to become a real criminal. That's what happens. See, you got to go to jail to become a real right. criminal. You learn more you from, know? from real criminals that fucked up. Yeah. So let me learn from your and, mistakes. And y'all perfect the bullshit yeah. together. There you go. Like, you got all that time on some counter money crystal shit. There you go. So, like, that's, yeah, but he the reason why. Like, like anytime, you know, drug money got tight. You know, he had to do a turnover with the prostitutes, whatever the case. You know, he's a pimp. DMX had a famous line. He said, why do good girls like bad guys? Because like, Disney what? told them to. Yeah. <laughs> no, <perfect>. no Disney, <laughs> Dis Disney told pretty little suburb girls to like scumbags. Yeah, the riffraff. No, it's very simple. Lady in the Tramp. Lady in the Tramp. Mind Control. Um, MK Ultra. Mind yes. control. Let's All look right. at the story. You got a, a prissy little beautiful poodle dog, and the little poodle boy love her next door. They they all got their papers. You know what I mean? They good houses. They got the the shiny tags and all of that. But she bumping into this nigga named Tramp, who's fresh out the pound. That's how the, that's rough how the, around the edges. That's how the love story starts. Yeah, rough around the edges. The nigga ain't even got a good name. His name's Tramp. Right. She's not supposed to like. Him. Who wants a tramp? <laughs> this goof ass fucking blonde hair poodle bitch. <laughs> she into it. Yeah. Then he starts telling her his story. Mm. And all of his woes. And all of his trials. And she's you poor thing. Mm -hmm. And she let me fix you. Mm -hmm. Or some you know cold play. I will try to fix you. Mm -hmm. You bullshit. Mm -hmm. And they got the music, right? And the music pulls the heartstrings. There you go. And now you invested in this bump. Now it's spaghetti. Now you invest. 
No, the, the spaghetti part is the part that incenses me the most. <laughs> because it's bad enough, you you didn't buy for the shit, you got the shit out the trash. Mm. You think you're cute, and you will take the little meatball and roll it across, say you go ahead and get your little bit. And then she get the noodle in the mouth, and the pussy won't even let her eat the noodle by herself that came out the trash. Right, yeah, damn I got. I need some of that. Why you, why you gotta share the noodle? I need some of that too. I need some of that too. How is this a come up? <laughs> Ends in a kiss. How is this? And he like, isn't this fun? Yeah. Yeah, we running the streets, bitch. We out here jagging, y'all. And she like, yeah, we jagging. And that's the problem, though. The, tra the trap brings the prissy down to his level. Like, let and me guess what? And let me show you how we get down. And she like, this is great. Why do they treat you like this? There's nothing wrong with this life. Man, sir. Fucking goof ass bitch. Nah, look at and, that. and guess what? Now, if that was real life, you want to know what would happen? They would get arrested. Because remember, the dog catcher come, and they had to fight to get away. And it was this whole thing. And, it did, and then the family took him in. And now look what you done done to your family. Now you done brought this tramp nigga, and you put him off on family. There you go. Now, damn, now we got to raise this nigga. Now we got to raise this nigga. Now you right, Disney. Disney this uh, nigga got bad habits. He been in the pound. He going to fuck up every couch we bring in the house. <laughs> this, this, like, don't nobody talk about the after. <laughs> Yeah, they, yeah. they talk about all the, oh yeah, surviving yeah, yeah. all odds in two weeks. And then shit gets real. You, they need to have a movie. A movie that shows about when shit fucking, gets real. No, a, about these fucking fairy tale bullshit ass stories. What happens yeah. after exactly. happily ever after? Exactly. When shit gets real. When shit gets real. <laughs> when fucking Tramp is sitting around, you fucking weird bitch. Yeah. 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 Like, I'm tired of this wet alpo ho. Can I get some real meat? Can like, I get some real meat? Nah, you know, well, I, I cried dad. I don't know why I tell them. Nah, Bitch, I got the papers on them. You said you wanted them. Said you wanted them. You know, like. Yeah, I got the papers. You said you wanted the trim. But me. daddy, he won't stop chewing up the dog bed. That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted. That's <laughs> like, exactly what you wanted. I mean, get the fuck out of here. Nah, that's for real. Like, get the fuck out of here. How is that not programming? This, there's a whole generation of bitches overweight eating bonbons right now because of that lady in the tramp bullshit. Like you said, I would love to see what happens after. Yeah. What happens when he went to go see his PO? Did he piss clean? Well, yeah. Or is that nigga back on the academy? Yeah, yeah. He went he went, hey. he went, went to the vet and just stole that academy night and came home. He got the munchies. Saying something. He fucked up all the food. Saying something. <laughs> like, Saying something. I'm just... It, it just disgusts me. It disgusts me. Um, it disgusts me that we sell these bullshit ass, you know, principles. And then motherfuckers sit around and wonder why bitches is depressed. Oh, exactly. or, or, or why you got bitches with, with doctorates, you know, exactly. and, and, and master's degrees that's that's trying to compete with Chris Kardashian, Chris Kardashian and, and, and the Jenners and the Kardashian bitches. Like, I know a 54 year old bitch right now in the desert right now. 54 years old. Mm. Fucking a 41 year old dude. Goddamn. Tossing him out cash. Goddamn. Ready to take a $15,000 pay cut to follow him to his next assignment. Goddamn. And guess what? This bitch is sucking dick for almost an hour at 54. God. God. Don't get me wrong. God. I applaud her effort. Yeah, for real. And if they were in a real relationship, that would be great. But if the nigga keep telling you he ain't never gonna marry you, I don't care how long you suck his dick, it's not changing his mind. That is a problem. That is a problem. I don't care how much money you spend it. You're not it's changing his mind. His mind. He, he, he is where he is. And this is why I got I always be telling niggas, like, you gotta be careful because even though your mouth be saying one thing, in their mind, your body is making a whole nother promise. Oh, another, oh, another. Now, if you sucking dick for an hour at 54 because you enjoy it yeah, and no you no trying to keep your like your neck strong. Yeah, neck muscles. Like no teeth. No, I get that. No the gums. Because you know, don't no old bitch like you know to be slumped with the pasta. Oh, man, come on now. <laughs> come on now. Work it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, them veins is. Them Work it out. Veins be, them you veins know all of that holding the mouth and all of that. Yeah, the, 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 but this is the thing. I'm hoping that Polly then isn't involved. That's right. I'm hoping that Polly then isn't involved because if that that adhesive give way at 50 some odd years old and your teeth come out mid jerk. God damn. You know? God damn. 
Hey, let's have that a, could be it. Uh, 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 I'm the, just saying. I want y'all to get out because I can't. I think it's gonna be too tight. To, okay. To yeah. Well, we don't want to scratch up the car doors. Yeah. So, so no, how about how about you just say, get the fuck out the car so I can park yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I ain't scratching this hoe up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all got the box. I get to the point. Y'all know the box. I'll be nice about it. I'll be yeah, nice no, about it. Ain't no point. Ain't no that, point. Can you unlock? Bobby, no. no. It's unlocked. Is it? Okay, yeah. You gotta crank it. Yeah, I'm telling you. Look at he being nice with it. How many times y'all threaten him about this car? Because yeah. he's afraid to open it. I just bought his own. 